See? And that's why you have to first study your people, understand them very, very well, and understand the system very, very well, and then found the system of education on that. This is what I mean again by being mis miseducated. What is missing in black children when they come to school? What, is, what kind of personality do they generally have as a result of being so-called black in America? Then, what kind of curricula, a curricula can we establish that speaks to that issue? And so therefore, a cultural understanding will, will literally tell you what kind of educational system you must establish. But if you look at another people and take their system and impose it on yours, then you're going to miseducate them. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. So when you start your analysis and understanding, and then you start educating people, your own people and your own group in terms of that, then you start producing the kind of people you need to advance the interest. And when you get ready to go into economic establishments, the first thing you see about often is not the money, but the people, the personalities, the ability to work the faith, and that's what you, you, you build up. When you study the, the Jamaican Susu system, that's a system that's ultimately still based on trust to a good degree. Or you study the Chinese who had a very similar system. That was a belief. We're from the same village. We're from the same, we have the same last name. Therefore, having this, we are uh, vowed, we may betray everybody else, not between us, you know, and you work that thing up. That's why it's very important now to see like Sister Donna is into initiation rites. Very important. Because it is through rites. A right is, not, is an education, and it is also the provision of experiences. So that when people get through with that education and that experience, they become attached to each other in, in a way that works for them in many different ways. You see, the thing that used to puzzle me a lot was tribalism in Africa. I know people have used that term, but what, what I always ask myself, how is it that you can build such loyalty into people who obviously are, are of the same ethnic root, but who can look at each other almost as if they are complete different people? You know, where Yoruba looks at an Igbo like, you know, like we would look at a white person almost, you know, sometimes, you know. And that used to get to me. And to me, that's an important question you need to answer in Hunter College. Mm -hmm. That's an important question you need to answer in anthropology and answer in psychology. If you're not answering those questions, you're not solving any problems. What is the psychology such that you get these people who will literally destroy each other and have a hell of a time putting the nation together? How, how is it that that kind of loyalty is built into each of those groups like that? And a part of my looking at that question made me look at initiation, see, and training. How, how is it that these Africans can train that kind of intense loyalty such that the person is identified more by his tribe than he is by his individual person? And once I understand that psychology, then, of course, I began to say, how can I provide the same kind of experiences or similar experiences in education such that the African-American can be more identified with African-Americans than he can even with himself as an individual? And the psychology is there. It's right there. Then the issue becomes, how can I get a school, a facility, so that these experiences can be created and worked out and that loyalty? Uh, part of that.